there's five of us in the family. Harlan came first, he's just turned six. Jarvie's four and a half, and Malu is the youngest, and he's just turned two. When he was born, we were just so happy that we finally had our third child, and we thought he was nice and healthy, and we celebrated his first birthday. And sort of a couple of days after that is when everything changed. He started looking up at his, his hair at one stage, just a quick glance up, and we didn't think too much of it. We were down in Portland visiting my family, and we started to notice these eye rolls happened like each day while we were down there, and his arms started to jerk when he would do the eye roll. In our gut then we knew, oh, this just isn't right. Aaron took him to emergency in Portland, and as soon as they saw it, they said, yeah, he needs to head to the Royal Children's. After they saw his EEG, they knew that he had infantile spasms. Aaron was on the phone to me pretty quickly, um, in tears. Malu has a condition where the brain didn't develop properly on one side. The nerves didn't make the right sort of connections and then they cause seizures. I would describe infantile spasms as like an infant epilepsy that's pretty bad. Like it can have some horrible impact on children's development and can lead to death in, in some kids. We tried so many different medications and nothing was able to stop his seizures. Sometimes they could last like two minutes, some like we had up to like 13 minutes of like ongoing seizures. So it was pretty heartbreaking to see. Whilst he has lots and lots of medications to try and get those under control, ultimately the treatment for that was surgery. With the information that they got from his EEGs and PET scan and MRI, they called me and said that they needed to disconnect the whole right hemisphere of his brain. The first thing you think of, oh, um, how is this going to work? I was, I think, just in shock hearing that. What the surgery does is it disconnects the side that's seizing from the rest of the brain tissue. It allows the normal brain to then develop and the pathways to develop free of seizures and ultimately free of medication. It was scary. Hmm. Morgan and I were allowed to be together with Malu on the day of his surgery, so we took him down and as I was about to say goodbye, I remember Virginia saying, don't worry, he's in good hands. Um, and that made me feel so much better. It is in some sense a last resort. In fact, it's also the best chance for a child like Malu to have as best the outcome he could possibly have, both in terms of brain development, but to have a seizure-free life. Malu was in hospital for a month after the surgery. He was like on the neuro ward for about a week, just as his body recovered and rested. And then they transferred him over to the rehab team where we started some pretty intense rehab every day. Every child is different in their recovery. It could take weeks and weeks, months. We didn't really know. They assumed that he would probably walk within a month or two, but you just never know. The problem with epilepsy and with the seizures and the medicine is it damps down the person that they are. You never see that, that the blossoming underneath until you stop the seizures. So often in what happens after the surgery is you actually see the child suddenly becoming the individual they were supposed to be.
I guess long term it's kind of hard to know how things will look. He's certainly making good progress language wise but we hope that he can go to a mainstream school and go to school with his brothers and be able to play sport and do things I guess like every other kid. So far things are looking great at the moment um, yeah, and hopefully it keeps going that way. I don't even know where to start with the amazing team that we had supporting us. Their knowledge and their passion is just incredible. I guess in probably one of the best hospitals in the entire world. We are just so grateful for everything that they've done for us. It literally changed our lives. So everything's heading in the right direction.